That's really fascinating as we bring in right now Dr. Susan McManus, our political analyst here. And there's a lot to take in because when you talk about these school board races, I'm just curious what influence that energy has had on other parts of the ballot, whether it's the governor's race, uh, the congressional districts. Uh, you know, if DeSantis is bringing his endorsement to the game, Chris has also endorsed some of these candidates for school board. That's really what has attracted a lot of voters. Right. The school board has been the impetus for people to get to the polls. And then, of course, the parties are very, very happy to have them. But what we also forget is that school board races are the race that no party affiliation voters could vote in. And it's 27 percent of Florida's current registered voters are no party affiliation. And they were eligible to vote in these school board races. And you wonder, you know, how this is going to shape out. Obviously, we're going to know here tonight. But the, the, the lasting lesson of the year of the parent and the message that should send to people in power who get voted in. Uh, they're gonna be paying close attention to this. They certainly are. Grassroots politics is really where it's at. And if you can get a grassroots movement going and politicians ignore it, they will lose. Yeah, and the parents certainly have the power here tonight. Susan, thank you.